Hello my friends, so I hope you all are having an amazing day with the amazing blessings and with the amazing grace of God. My name is Kilian Sharman and welcome to another video. My friend, today the title of my message will be Gratitude and Thanksgiving. In today's video, I will be going to be discussing with you what does the Bible say about giving thanks to God and why is it important to give thanks to God. So my friends, in today's video, I will be going to be talking under this topic which is Gratitude and Thanksgiving. So without any further delay, let's get into it. So my friends, the first question that I have for you today is, what happens when you thank God for everything? My friend, you need to always remember that gratitude, that gratitude helps us see God. Gratitude opens our spiritual eyes. My friend, there's a beautiful cycle in giving thanks to God. The more we thank Him, the more we see Him working in us and around us. My friend, gratitude helps us sense God's presence, His personal care and His perfect timing. So my friends, in today's video, I will be going to be reading to you some Bible verses that, that, that talks about our title today, which is Gratitude and Thanksgiving. So my friends, without any further delay, let's get into those. The first Bible verse that I will be going to be reading to you today is the first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16, 16 to 18. In here, the Apostle Paul is preaching to the people of Thessalonica, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Yes, my friends, as the Apostle Paul is discussing in here, we need to rejoice always, we need to pray continually, we need to give thanks in all circumstances, and that is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Amen. The second Bible verse that I will be going to be reading to you today is Psalm 103. My friends, in here, King David expresses his gratitude and his thanksgiving to God in a very beautiful way, my friends, as you can see here. Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Amen. The book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 6 to 7 says, As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. So my friends, this is the New King James Version translation of that particular uh, of that of that set of Bible verses and now I will be going to be reading the NIV translation of the same Bible verses so you can understand them a lot better the book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 6 to 7 so then just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord continue to live in him rooted and built up in him strengthened in the faith as you were taught and overflowing with thanksgiving my friends as uh, the book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 6 to 7 says in here uh, so then just as we have received Christ Jesus as the Lord we need to continue to live in him we need to follow all his teachings we need to uh, follow all these commands my friends we need to live according to the commandments of God that is really important my friends we need to continue to live in him rooted and built up in him strengthened in the faith as you were taught and overflowing with thankfulness amen my friends we need to be overflowing with thankfulness amen the book of isaiah chapter 12 verse 4 to 5 says and on that day you will say give thanks to the lord call on his name make known his deeds among the peoples make them remember that his name is exalted praise the lord in song for he has done glorious things let this be known throughout the earth my friends we can praise god in many ways there are many ways to praise Him. Amen. My friends, if you read the book of Psalm, you can understand how uh, King David and the other writers there have beautifully expressed the greatness of God in those Psalms, my friends. The book of James chapter 1 verse 17 says, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. So my friends, in here we have another reason to praise God. First Chronicles chapter 16 verse 34 says, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Yes, my friends, He loves you with an everlasting love. He loves you with an unconditional love. 
and his love will endure forever amen his steadfast love will endure forever amen the book of hebrews chapter 12 verse 28 says therefore since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken let us be thankful and so worship god acceptably with reverence and awe for our god is a consuming fire amen my, my friend we since we are receiving a kingdom that that cannot be shaken let us be thankful we need to be thankful my friends because we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken amen and we need to worship god acceptably with reverence and awe for our god is a consuming fire amen the book of psalm chapter 95 verse 1 to 5 says oh come let us sing to the lord let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation let us come before his presence with thanksgiving let us shout joyfully to him with psalms for the lord is the great god and the great king above all gods in his hand are the deep places of the earth the heights of the hills are his also the sea is his for he made it and his hands formed the dry land yes my friends god is the creator of the heavens and the earth amen we need to praise him my friends he is great greater than anyone else amen he is the greatest greatest of all amen my friends he is the king of kings and the lord of lords he is the alpha and the omega he is the beginning and the end amen we need to praise him we need to glorify him we need to give him thanks and honor amen philippians chapter 4 verse 4 to 7 says rejoice in the lord always i will say it again let rejoice let your gentleness be evident to all the lord is near do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your requests to god and the peace of god which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in christ jesus my friends in here this is a bible verse that is really popular and this uh, is very powerful and we need to live according to it my friends we need to rejoice in the lord always i will say it again rejoice let your gentleness be evident to all the lord is near my friend you need you should not never be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your requests to god and the peace of god which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in christ jesus amen psalm 118 verse 24 says this is the day that the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it yes my friends every day is a day from the lord amen this is the day that the lord has made we need to rejoice and be glad in it amen colossians chapter 3 verse 15 to 17 says let the peace of christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful let the message of christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms hymns and songs from the spirit singing to god with gratitude in your hearts and whatever you do whether in word or deed do it all in the name of the lord jesus giving thanks to god the father through him amen my friend you should always remember that every day god is doing in your life amazing things amen my friends you need to give thanks to god that is really important amen the first chronicles chapter 29 verse 13 says now therefore our god we thank you and praise your glorious name amen Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18 to 20 says, But be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, and singing and making melody with your hearts to the Lord, always thank, always giving thanks for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to our God and Father. Amen. Psalm chapter 119 verse 1 to 8 says, Blessed are those who are, whose ways are blameless, who work according who walk according to the law of the lord blessed are those who keep his status and seek him with all their heart they do no wrong but follow his ways you have laid down precepts that are to be fully obeyed or that my ways were steadfast in obeying your decrees then i would not be put to shame when i consider all your commands i will praise you with an upright heart as i learn your righteous laws i will obey your decrees do not utterly forsake me so my friends through this you can understand that we need to live according to the commandments of god we need to be obedient to him 
my friend, I have done uh, a video about uh, in the title Obedience Commanded. It's the video of last week. You can watch it. It's on my YouTube. Uh, it's the video before this video. You can watch it from there. Amen. My friend, the Second Corinthians chapter 19 verse 15 in that Bible verse, the Apostle Paul is saying something that is really beautiful. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Amen. My friends, every day, every moment, every second, God is doing amazing and wonderful things in our lives. We need to praise him for everything that he is doing in our lives. Amen. We need to give him thanks. Amen. We need to give him all the glory and honor that is really important. Amen. So my friends, I hope everything is clear and coherent in today's video. So if we have any questions or clarifications to be made, please leave them down in the comment section down below and I will provide you with the answers. So my friends, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to share this with a friend. And if you have learned something from it, make sure to share this with a friend. Amen. So my friends, uh, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you today, tomorrow and always. May God bless you and keep you. May God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. Oh